I think this is the first time I have ever filmed at sunset. Hi! Today's video is a review of the new Sun Balm SPF 50 Roll On Mineral, yes, all mineral sunscreen. <laughs> this little cutie surprised me and I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sean, Melanoma Mom. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video because I love getting comments from you. No, seriously, you guys have the best comments. If you're looking for a very supportive community, you found it, go check out the comment sections of my videos because they are gold. Okay, this little guy right here is a roll-on. Look at that. I've been using this for a week and a half now, non-stop. It has 3.4% titanium dioxide and 16% zinc oxide. It is water resistant up to 80 minutes and it's three fluid ounces. It looks like a deodorant, like an old school deodorant. I had low expectations for the sunscreen, but I love the Sun Balm brand. This is fragrance free. There's no smell at all. I expected this to act like a typical thick mineral sunscreen, but I was pleasantly surprised and have been loving wearing a sunscreen. But does the sunscreen have a slight white cast? Yes. Now I am not the best judge because as I put the more and more I actually diligently wear sunscreen, the paler I seem to get, the more color of this white chair I seem to turn. <laughs> so I do think that this will leave a white cast on darker skin tones, but I think it's worth a try to see because I feel like the white cast disappears after the sunscreen settles down. At least on me, I feel like it does. With all my sunscreens, I put a layer of moisturizer on first. I let that sink in for about 10 minutes, put my sunscreen on, let that sink in about 10, 15 minutes before I put foundation on. It sits beautifully under foundation. I had no peeling whatsoever. Hey, I have finally put my foundation on top of the new Sun Bun Mineral Roll-On Stick. <laughs> Looks like deodorant, but it's sunscreen. <laughs> I put my Misha on top of it and it laid down beautifully. What do you think? Um, there's still a little bit of shine, but this is not a matte foundation. I think it looks great. I think it looks like natural skin. I did put my matte powder, let me show you. I did put my, I always top my foundation off with this, this matte powder. It's not a super matte, it's like a natural matte, if that makes sense. So I didn't completely take the shine off my nose, but I don't hate it. It's not matte and it's not too glowy. It's somewhere in between. Now, here was a surprising thing. When, you, when I wear it on my body though, it comes up as matte, so. <laughs> I don't get any dewy when I wear it on my arms, on my legs, but for some reason on my face, it's more of a natural and not matte at all. I don't, I don't know how to explain that one. <laughs> Easy application, but I would let it set down before you put on like black clothing or something like that because I, it will smear on your dark colored clothing unless it sets down first. But that's with most mineral sunscreens, they do that. I will continue using this. I'm excited about this one. This is gonna be one of my go-to mineral sunscreens and it's SPF 50. I think I like this one, dare I say it, I think I like it as much as I like the native. I bought this on Ulta for about $15. I did wait for a sale to get a couple of dollars off. It also comes in a chemical version. If you've tried the chemical version, let me know. Does it have the traditional sun bum scent? And it might be a good option for those of you who do not want a mineral sunscreen and are okay with a chemical one. I recently took a trip with my husband. We went and stayed at a beautiful bed and breakfast right here. And this is a picture of me in the morning for breakfast. No makeup on, just a moisturizer and this on my face. I completely forgot to bring my foundation. I had to wear this all day on my face and I was pleasantly surprised. Highly recommend this one, love it. 